If you're looking for cheap and reliable Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description for FIFA Coin Zone. They're selling for £3 per 100k on the Xbox at the moment and £3 per 100k on the PlayStation. Use the code JOSH5 to get 5% off. What's up, lads? It's Josh here, and welcome back to another episode of FIFA 15 January Done Deals. Now, I know some of you guys are getting a little bit bored and stale uh, uh, you know, at this sort of content, but I'm, I'm, I'm really so close towards the end of this series that I think I might as well just power on and get through some more transfers. We've got eight more transfers to talk about today, and like I said, uh, the transfer window is closing in two days, so two days more, and then probably like three more videos uh, on January Done Deals, and then I'll be completely done with the series, and then I will be getting on to do some FIFA 15 gameplay series, you know, some Road to Glories, some some squad builders and all that stuff that I'm known for that I used to do but just haven't been doing recently so hopefully you guys understand that but let's get straight into episode 11 of January Done Deals. Okay guys, so onto the first transfer of the day guys, we're going to be talking about Boschetti and of course he has recently just left Spartak Moscow and he has joined uh, AC Milan on loan until the end of the season and I can't really say too much about this transfer, I've not seen much of the guy but I've been using him throughout so many FIFAs and I can just imagine the amount of hybrids and the amount of perfect links that this guy has just been opened up to. Um, but yeah, that's much, pretty much all I can say, but look at those stats, a phenomenal centre back has just moved into the Serie A and like I said, you know, there's going to be lots and lots of teams slash Serie A teams with this guy in them. And moving on to the next transfer, we're going to be seeing Ajax start Legion, and he has just left Ajax for Nak Brada. I think that's like Nak Brada, Nak NAC Brada. I honestly have no idea. Um, but yeah, he's just joined um, Brada, and uh, it is on loan until the end of the season. And his card in FIFA is used a lot, so I thought this transfer was kind of necessary. And uh, I think he's, he's, this one is actually going to be priced so it's quite a lot because an 89 pace Ajax player with uh, you know obviously a great bit of pace on him. He's a right back. He's silver. A lot of people use them in hybrids already. I can imagine this guy is going to be price fixed to hell, so if you want to try and pick him up for cheap and hopefully, you know, he's going to get price fixed, maybe he will, maybe he won't. We'll have to wait and find out. And moving on to the next transfer, we're going to be seeing a Barclays Premier League player of called Stuart O'Keefe, and he has just left the Barclays Premier League for Championship side Cardiff. Cardiff haven't had the best of seasons so far, and hopefully they're trying to bolster up, you know, trying to get a bigger squad together, and trying to, uh, you know, obviously trying to go for at least the playoffs this season, but it's not looking good at the moment for Cardiff, but hopefully they can, you know, pick some points up towards the end of the season, and maybe get into those playoff spots, but they've just signed O'Keefe for 940000 and pounds. And moving on to the next transfer, guys, we're going to be talking about Adam Forshaw, and of course, he has just left Wigan as well, and unfortunately, um, Wigan are losing all their good t uh, their good players. They've lost Forshaw, they've lost McManaman, they've lost Maloney, they even lost another centre-back, which we're going to cover in, you know, at the end of this episode, so it's not looking good for Wigan at all. Hopefully that, you know, they're going to try and bring in some new players and try and fight for the, you know, the survival in the championship. I think they're like 23rd or 22nd at the moment, so they really do need to kick up their bums and get getting some, you know, getting some big, big players in and obviously to try and, you know, secure their championship uh, spot for next season at least. Um, but yeah, for sure, just joined Middlesbrough for £2.3 million and um, I can't really say much about the transfer. I haven't seen much of the lad, but it's a lot of money to pay for, you know, a youngster that's not doing amazingly, but I guess they see the talent in him to go for him. Moving on to the next player, guys, we're going to be talking about Kjelsten. I think that's how you pronounce it. Let me know in the comments if I've pronounced that wrong or right, and if I have pronounced it wrong, do be sure to let me know how to pronounce this guy's name. It looks like it's going to be a silent J, but I have absolutely no idea. So we're just going to call him Kjelsten from now on. Um, but yeah, he has basically just signed for New York Red Bulls from uh, RC Anderlecht and uh, I could not find the actual transfer fee anywhere so I'm just going to leave it as an undisclosed fee at the moment. Could be a loan but I'm pretty sure it is actually a full transfer. And uh, yeah, he's got bags of experience under him. He's obviously played in the MLS before and that is what New York Red Bulls uh, have basically just bought. And moving on to the next player, guys, we're going to be talking about Heldon. And there's nothing much I can say about this guy, but he has just joined Cordoba on loan until the end of the season. Um, and it looks like uh, Cordoba are bringing in a lot of players. They've obviously brought in uh, Bebe, they've brought in Heldon. So they're going for you know a lot of attacking force and trying to uh, manage their way up the La Liga table. But uh, other than that, I cannot say much about Heldon. But yeah, he's just joined uh, Cordoba until the end of the season. 
And moving on to the biggest transfer of the day, guys, and by looking at this card, you wouldn't think he was worth the amount that I'm just about to announce. Um, but he has just joined uh, Crystal Palace from QPR, and of course, this is going to cost £5.5 .5 million. Pounds. It's a lot of money to pay for a player from QPR. I mean, QPR don't exactly play the most uh, attract, um, the, you know, the, the most amazing football or the most um, attractive style of football. Um, but Jordan Much is a really in incredibly good player. I really do rate him a lot. I loved, I, you know, I absolutely loved watching him when he was at Cardiff. I really did like, uh, you know, the, the football style that he played. It was really good, and uh, he scored some banging goals as well. Um, but Jordan Much has basically just joined Crystal Palace for 5.5 million uh, in hopes to try and, you know, obviously get his career back on track and start, you know, obviously scoring some fantastic goals and uh, hopefully uh, going far with Crystal Palace. And moving on to the final transfer of the day, guys, we're going to be talking about Ivan Ramis. And of course, it is another Wigan player leaving. Uh, this one is going to be a free transfer to Levante, or Levant, um, in, of course, the La Liga. And yeah, I'd really have, I've got, you know, so many worries for, for Wigan. I used to really like watch Wigan play. You know, when they were like second in the Barclays Premier League in like the first couple of months, that was like the highlight of Wigan's career. Um, and since then, it's just been downhill, unfortunately. After winning the FA Cup, it has just been going downhill and downhill. And they've lost all their biggest players. And they're sitting 23rd in the championship. So it's not really looking good for Wigan. And hopefully, you know, they can bring in some players in the, the in the last couple of days. Try and bring in some loanies or something to, you know, to obviously bolster up the team. And to try and get out of the relegation spot for the championship. Thank you guys for watching the other episode of FIFA 15 January Done Deals. This has been episode 11 where we have covered 8 more recently transferred players. Comment down below if you think I've missed anybody. Uh, you know, there's obviously 2 days left of the transfer window and uh, we should really start to be seeing some big transfer names now. Um, but it, 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 other than now, it really has been quiet, uh, a very, very quiet January. Uh, other than Boney and probably Lucas Silva and Odegaard, I can't really think of many huge transfers that has happened yet. Um, but but I, I expect big things in the next two days, especially from Manchester United and Chelsea and probably Arsenal. But until then, uh, we may be seeing a few more lower league uh, sides uh, on the transfer mend at the moment. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like, rate, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, at 94 And apart from that, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.